guys, Cam here from Starbuck Excavation. In this video here, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown on our beautiful CAT 3D grade display or our TD520, as some people know it's screen. What I'm going to show you in this video is give you a rundown on how to create your own 3D model into uh, the machine. So for the project I'm working on here, we're doing a baseball mound in Strathmore. As you can see here, I'll just give you a quick rundown on what it looks like. So basically, this is what I've already made, which is just a quick little demonstration on what it looks like. It's got wings and you've got a little flat bit on the top. As you can see, I'm not in design at the moment, but all I've got to do is just pick me, pick me bucket up and we'll just come in a little bit and we'll come into the design. And as you can see now, we're in the design and we're still gonna come up 230 mil. So I'll give you a quick rundown on how we create it. So we'll get out of that. We'll go designs. I've created two different ones here already because I'm running two different uh, mounds. So we'll click on create. Now the first page that comes up is, it's basically, this is a, a, a setting where you've got some templates. So as it can sense uh, by the name that I'm already running two different designs at the moment. So if you run basements all the time and you dig multiple basements, it'll come up with your different templates in your different basements that you've dug and designed. So all you can do then is you can edit a previous design then which makes it easier and you don't have to go through the whole thing that I'm about to show you now you just select a basement that's similar and you just go through and edit your designs I'll make another video on that uh, next but in this video I'll show you how um, to create what I've already done so basically all we got to do is you just take your bucket back out to where you want your mound to start which for me I want it to start about say there you come up to this and this first bit that we're looking at here is roughly now it's a bird's eye view is I've been told so basically is you're gonna draw now what you want your image to look like if you're looking at it from on top so we'll go through and set that up down down here you have your bucket selection point so which part you want your GPS to select off your bucket so I'm happy to go with the middle and then you've got your circle here with your plus so you push that which is your selection button and it is now created a point here on the screen which gives you up here your easting and northings and it also gives you a reference elevation height so we're about 50 meters here above sea level in Melbourne on this site so what we'll do is we'll track around to the next spot where I um, want to do my next design. So you can, no matter how far away you go, you can select it anywhere along the way. So if you're doing multiple swale drains, you select every point where you want your curve to change same as in a basement you'll select every single point of the basement which I'll go through a little bit more in a minute so we track along our mounds here so I wanted to change here because the fence now shoots off on a 45 degree to where I was so you look up to the point up here so first actually you put your bucket so we're going off the middle of our bucket so you select where you want the middle of the embankment to be so I want mine to be about there you go up to the top here again and as our last point we're running at 50.7 so we'll go create now so as you can see it's changed it's got our new pref new point put in down here which is now 50.3 so if you can either leave it like that or if you want to run at the exact same height all you do is you click on it and you just tap in what you want it to change but I'll leave it at that for now so now we'll just go up a bit further here to our next point that I want to select so 
you just move around and the machine as you can see it moves with us because it's running off the satellite so it knows exactly where we are so it's going to follow you to wherever you want to go and it'll pick you up here on the ground as long as you've got good connection and everything to all your satellites so if I'm tracking along here and I want it to finish stay here you can either select your point at where your bucket is on the ground and you can change your elevation height again or you can put it up at the top here say oh, I want it to be roughly fence height so people can see over and that's fine we go back down to here and we select our point and it has selected our point and we're pretty close in what it looks like we go to our elevation now the elevation here gives you your elevation so we click on this little circle with the checkpoint and we go edit segment which now lets us look between all our points so you can select two different points so as you can see that I was pretty close and it was flat there so it's got a zero but what I want to do is go between these two points here and as you can see between them points there we've got 28 meters for the whole length of the distance that I've just traveled and we've got seven mil full between these two points that are selected so we then click on that and say we want it to be 500 mil full so you go decimal point 500 we go yes now that becomes a 1.7 percent grade from your start to your finish and then so all this little button does down here as you see you push it and it, it aligns all your dots in a straight line so it just realigns it so we'll change that back to what we selected just then and then it changes it again so that's our bird eye view done so now you go into your screen now this is where you draw what you actually want your design to look like so for me you just tap it once and then you drag it on your screen and then it draws a five meter line there at 75 percent for instance say for me i want a 5.5 meter batter and then changes it to 5.5 meters but for me because i want people to walk up it that's too steep you then go, well, hang on a minute, I want it at 20%. And then it changes your batter height to 20% there. So now that's done. You then tap again. Now you're drawing what you want the top of it to look like. So for me, you only want it, I only want the width of my mud bucket on the top. So we'll go say one meter. And we don't want any fall on the top we want it flat so you get rid of that and we go zero yep and now it's just straight you go up the top here now if you want it one meter we're going 0.500 we want to go half because now you go down to your little spot down here and you can look you got these little looks like a w you now push on that and what it does is it mirrors your design on what you've done so therefore you only have to design half your job if it's going to be the same both sides so we want to go mirror from end and then what it does now is it mirrors the whole job from halfway point so now you've got a meter at the top and it mirrors it both ways you then go next and then you turn it on to 3d and as you can see here here's our little model that we've just designed and exactly what it looks like you've punched in all your numbers and what it, you want it to do and here is your finished model and then you go along and you select where you want your bucket to start and all your alignment selections to start so for me I want to say go to the top you go save yes we want to change to that design apply yes I'm happy and there you go we've got our new model here designs and we'll spin around
we're back on design and we still got to go up because we're down so low here all we're going to do is just go up to zero which is there which is roughly the same height as our fence now that is just as as easy as it gets to use this cat system and on my next couple of videos i'll go into a bit more depth on how to do a bit harder designs how to edit designs and stay tuned for more videos thank you